Good morning, boys and girls. Today I want to talk about recording and especially miking snare drums. Let's go. Recording and miking snare drums should be easy, right? Here's what most people do. They basically just throw a dynamic microphone on top of a snare drum and don't really care about anything else. Then they use shitloads of EQ, compression, some other processing, or even just sample replace that snare. I'm regularly shocked by how little people who record snares, even professionals, know about mic placement. And today I want to talk about exactly that. Because a microphone is a yeah, it's a very powerful weapon. You can use it like an EQ almost to get closer to the snare sound you have in mind. As you might know, for me it's important to get things right at the source. That's why I spent some time on my mic placement. So I think it will only take me two to three minutes to give you the basic information, pretty much all you need to know about miking snare drums, about snare drum mic placements. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. Before we get started, let me say one thing, as you might have heard. I'm working on my own little recording and mixing metal academy, uh, which is called the Cola Audio Cult. And you will be able to join the cult soon. I'm, I'm doing that together with my friend Warren Ewart from Produce Like a Pro, and this will be a very, very cool place for yeah, recording, mixing metal in a hopefully non-generic way. That's my plan. So right now, I'm very busy creating courses for that academy. And I have already created, I think, three or four hours of drum course material. And what you are about to see now, those two or three minutes of snare drum microphone blah blah, is a part of one of the upcoming courses at the Kohler Audio Cult. Let's talk about miking the snare. The most important microphone is, of course, the batter head microphone. And as I've already shown you in the Drums Basics video, you can use your mic position like an EQ. What you need to know is that the more you mic the head of the drum, the better head, yeah, the more it sounds like the head. So you will get a lot of punch, a lot of lows from the head. But it might sound a little dark, a little artificial, because you're not really miking the entire snare, you're miking the head only. So if punch and low end is all you want, mic the head. But the more you move away from the head, the more you also phase the shell of the drum, the more highs you will pick up. So you should understand the mic position as an EQ from darker and fatter to brighter and snappier, so to say. And most people just go somewhere here and mic the head, that's their starting position. My starting point is somewhere here at the edge. So I'm miking both the head and also the shell. And then I can fine tune the mic position, giving me more highs or giving me more lows and punch, depending on how the snare sounds. So that's one thing. The other thing you need to understand, and I was talking about that when I was showing you the tom mic positions in the basics video, is that the more the microphone faces the center of the better head, the more lows you will once again get. And at the edge, it sounds a little more twangy. You will get less lows and more gong gong, more mids, which can be a nice thing, but Mostly pointing at the middle sounds a bit more natural and powerful, if you ask me. So I'm always wondering why so many people mic the edge of the head, because that will give you a very mid-focused, twangy, kind of honky sound. Can be good sometimes, but this is important to understand. If you go to the edge, it will sound thinner, it will sound a little more honky. If you go to the middle, you will get more of the low end punch. Overall, the head gives you the punch, the shell gives you the highs and the snap. That's all you need to know.
If you remember those two things when you record snare drums, you can use your microphone like an EQ and fine tune the setting until you find the sound that comes closest to what you have in mind. So if you are enjoying this video and if you are interested in the cult, you can subscribe to my email list below and you will be one of the first people to be informed uh, yeah, when we, when we launch the cult. Don't forget, if you join the newsletter right now, you will immediately get a great sounding snare sample, a one shot snare sample that I recorded, which is kind of special. There's a video where I show the recording process. I hope there will be a link somewhere here now. And um, I recorded that sample in kind of like an empty bunker, concrete bunker, kind of like a swimming pool. That was the building side of our second control room. And it sounds unique, has a nice slap and I think more than 3,000 people have downloaded it already and I'm getting, I'm getting feedback all the time how much they love it. So grab that sample. Anyway, let me remind you to, um, yeah, to sell your soul to the devil. Uh, leave your email address below. There are a few other links to the gear used in this video. If you're interested in my guitar course on ProMix Academy, there's a link below. Yeah, but basically I just want your soul, right? All right, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, um, to, to ring the bell, to uh, tell your grandma about this. I'm sure she will like me. All, all grandmas like like bald German, German guys, right? Uh, yeah, um, that's all for today. Join the cult, sell me your soul. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye-bye. <laughs>